Um, hello, peoples of the internet. That's, yes, we are back in the closet, but I got a new lamp, which is cool. It's kind of providing all the most important lighting here. But you might be wondering two things. One, why are we in the closet? And two, what the frickle frack is this? Well, so I got a 3D printer for Christmas. And you might be wondering, Alyssa, that's cool. Why the fridge didn't you not show us sooner? Um, well, that is because I wanted to finish culture first. Okay, don't judge me. But also, I'm filming this like day after I got the video up. So yeah, I did not want to wait any longer. And like, I'm pretty sure this isn't the best time to open this either. But fridge it. I I want to I want to open this. And guess what? We are going to open this. Uh, I have not looked in here yet. I I will have opened it already. Except I wanted to. I want y'all to see my reaction and stuff. So, yeah, let me just open this up. And, like, this isn't in a convenient location, too. But, like, this is where I'm planning on setting up the printer. And this little space over here. Let me just struggle here for a few minutes, okay? Holy crap. I think this place has been to... No, wait, that, that's, that's in Ohio. Not in Ohio. Uh, that's in America. Just, like, looking at the dates on here. Because, like, none of them are from where I live. All of them are, like, places so far away. Like, all the way in Georgia and California. So, this box has been places, I guess. Uh, okay, this is a bit bulky. Maybe I should just cut back to whenever I got all this stuff out of the box. Uh, um... Holy crap, we got a lot to work with. <laughs> yeah, there better be instructions in here. Which I think there is. Yeah, there probably is. Holy crap, so um, we got a lot here. And I did not see an instruction manual, but why no, I did see this disc. And my laptop doesn't exactly have a disc reader. So, yeah, time to get off the old laptop. Um, I was going to do a time lapse, but you know what? Let's just... Let's just get back to this whenever, you know, this is not big frickin' mess. <laughs> okay, so the last printer, turns out there was a there was a part that was messed up on it. Like a part that literally just snapped off and there was no way that I could fix it because I couldn't even find the piece that was snapped off. But like rip that conveyor belt thing. But 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 uh me and mom are returning that and guess what showed up? In the freaking mail. Oh shoot. Totally didn't almost fall over. Oh shoot. Knocking my light over. Okay. And my camera. <laughs> Another freaking big box. You know what? I should probably open this up off camera. Okay, yeah. Cause there's no way I'm fitting this on the on my little closet space. Oh sh so we got King Room printer. Uh freaking can't see all this. You know what? King Room printer. Yes. Uh, this is supposedly, like, the best printer in the price range that we got the R1 for. So, yeah, let me just open this up real quick. From what I know, it shouldn't be as hectic when it comes to assembly, but we are about to find out. It's hatching! Now to put this crap together. Oh, hey! They do leave enough PLA for a test print. I thought that they didn't. Okay. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so I got this thing all working nice and neatly. I guess uh, all that's left to do is, um, well, got the thumb drive. Not thumb drive, whatever drive. USB stick right here that uh, some of the files for the wait, the Gco files are on. And, um,. I'm sorry, I'm like really new to this, but I feel like I have an okay understanding of how this works. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to do some, do my first test print, gonna print a bunchy and see how that goes. And I'm excited, but yeah, I'm not gonna start right now. I'm gonna start later, like in the morning, because it's like 1 a.m. And like, I've seen from a lot of people that you should. That you should monitor your print and tomorrow I'm just gonna be like doing my schoolwork in my room so hey I can monitor it right here in my closet blah blah <sighs> but it won't seem like any time has passed for you at all because you are going to see a time lapse of this whole bad boy in action in three two
So I was really nervous and kind of excited, well, really excited about this first print. Uh, I had to play around with settings and calibration some to get it to work. But after a whole freaking day's worth of trial and error, I think I got it. There's a bit of a learning curve to this, though I think that watching some videos beforehand helped me figure out my issues. Also watching some videos while being frustrated. <laughs> I, I know the printer is what's here actually printing the design, but the human is telling the printer what to do, kind of like a computer, except, well, I believe there is a small computer that makes this work, just not the kind that will be in a laptop or something. Um, I had a point here, but I completely forgot it. I forgot what I was going to say. I gotta say though, it was pretty hypnotizing to stop by my closet while I was doing whatever and just watch the printer go out of the way printed it a ding. It's funny, it kind of gets my brain down this path of how, t how far technology is coming along and where it's going. But like all technology, flaws are inevitable. And I got a clog in the machine. Kind of frustrating after like an hour into this print. This printer has the ability to pause and resume prints, so I tried to pause, fix the problem, then resume. But I guess I went too far without pausing, because the next thing you know, it was printing on air and messing up. I also tried some fix online to save the failed print, though it didn't go well. And I wasn't about to frustrate myself trying to salvage this thing, so yeah. Okay, so my first print kind of failed. Come on, let's just pour up. I tried to fix it by like uh, editing the G code file so that it started extruding around here, but I couldn't get anything that good. But hey, at least we got this. And trust me, I ain't done here. Oh shoot, and I and I shake the camera cool. But this, this here, only the beginning. But yeah, cute little half of a benchy. <laughs> I'm going to try to do this again tomorrow with more fil- but I have some different filament to use. And I think that, like, what happened, I think, is that another clog happened and stopped this from fully printing. Which really sucks, but, 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 I'm gonna try again tomorrow. I'm gonna try to put some measures in place to hopefully not have another clog. Q and R time lapse, except it's tomorrow but it'll be you again like be here for you again in like three two so when recording round two on my phone i ran out of storage and i didn't realize it until like a long time which that that was great um i was able to record the last third of the printing at least it's like the ending you never got to have with the first print I think I know why I was getting clogged so frequently, by the way. Including the one that took out that print, because rip. Uh, PLA, the filament I'm using here, needs about 180 to 190 degrees Celsius to melt enough to go through the nozzle of the printer. My brain thought, hey, a little extra temp wouldn't hurt. Probably because I was afraid of... Heck, I don't know. My brain's always been in that too much is better than too little mindset. Not so much here. Too hot and the heat from the hot end can travel right up through the tube and melt the filament too soon. Which is just what I think happened. Repeatedly. Especially since after lowering the temp from 200 back to 195 and eventually 190, my clog problem seemed to have disappeared. Then again, all I've really done since this fix was this second cute little benchy. Still, problem's enough solved to print this. And here is our final print. Done! Uh, let me just... Okay, and boop. Nice and pretty. Hang on, let me just, yeah. Coming off. This is having a bit of an easier time coming off than the, than this filament. Maybe this is just better quality or some. Oh, hey, there's like a little, <laughs> Okay, that's kind of cool, the little thing that they had at the bottom. I didn't even realize that. But, yeah. Here is how our little benchy turned out, and frick. I don't, this is so cute for some reason. It's just so freaking cute. But I call this a success print. Hmm. Ah, shoot. It's only been off the plate for five minutes, and I'm. Wait, not even five, Not even one minute, and I've already dropped it. Uh, here, here we go. It's obviously not flawless. Um, I don't know if you can really see that, but like. 
there's some little globs of, not glue, um, filament there. They're kind of hard to notice, but like, it, I guess it's kind of easier to in real life, but still, I'm making a note, you're huge success. But yeah, um, and trust me, I didn't, I didn't get this just so I could print a tugboat. There's a lot more that, <laughs> that. There's a lot more that can come out of this. I've actually already been looking into stuff that I want to print soon. Plus, I have some ideas of some stuff to print for like my next doll custom. And I also have an extremely dumb project that I'm wanting to attempt soon. So that is going to be fun. <laughs> Anyways, uh... Okay, I was about to do a crappy outro and everyone would go on to watch another video, go home, whatever. But, no. I realize, heck, I need to try to print at least one other print. Something besides a tugboat, at least. So, I scoured the lands of Fingerverse, and wow, there was a lot to see. A lot that I bookmarked for later. But, eventually, I settled on this little Polly Pikachu. Partially because I couldn't decide on anything else that wasn't a huge undertaking and way more filament than I had. <laughs> Plus, I was wanting to test how precise I could get with this thing, so I printed the printed the model at like a little bit lower scale than first intended. And yes, while it came out looking cute, it wasn't absolutely perfect. Still, freaking cute and perfect enough for me. <laughs> okay, now I think we're at the last print of the video. Just gonna pop off this tiny Pika. Ow, uh, frick. <laughs> okay. Okay, just gotta... So tiny. <laughs> the one thing that kind of annoys me slightly is like, you can't get completely centered on there. It has to be like, slightly one way or slightly another, and it bugs me. But yeah, here is how our little guy came out. Let me just take him off of here. So like, whenever I was doing this, this first one, I was having a lot of trouble getting, you know, the getting the raft off but like with these two it's been like real easy so i don't know i guess it was just a problem with the filament that came with the printer but like the stuff that i got on amazon for like this and you know at this like a lot better and like a lot easier to work with i think because like i've had a lot less issues working with this than yeah because like that's also snapped a couple times which is fun but yeah pikachu he he's cute and, like, not the most perfect Pikachu ever, but, like, I could, like, tidy up the ears a little bit. Maybe sand it down a little bit, and he should be alright. Freaking focus. But, yeah, I think... Oh, shoot. I think the reason that he was having problems with the ears is, like, where I was going in between layers. Like, there wasn't so much time for it to cool down here at the end. So, yeah. But... Other than that, I, I really like this. Let me just clean it up. Clean. but Let me just clean them up. Okay. Not the neatest, but I don't know. A lot better, I think. Freaking cute. You know, I'm going to have to print like a bunch of tiny little poly Pokemon and give them to my cousins as presents. Yes. They'd love that. <laughs> and uh, I have a lot of other stuff that I'm planning on do doing too. I have a lot of ideas for a want to print and I'm excited. Definitely need to get more filament for that, but still. <laughs> so if you want to see what else I'm up to, what, what else I'm printing, I mean, I have a feeling a lot of it I'm going to turn into videos, but like, I'll, I don't know. I'll also show y'all on Instagram, I guess. So you can take a look there. And there's also my Twitter, even though I don't, I'm not really as active on there anymore. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching and hopefully see you in the next video. Bye.